<sighs> hey guys and welcome to Lime Laugh Love. It's been a really long time since I've done a video and I'm, I'm okay with that I guess. Um, for anybody who knows me you know I recently quit my full-time corporate world job to pursue entrepreneurial endeavors so super excited about that. Um, for the first time in my life I definitely feel like I'm fulfilling my my higher calling on this earth so it's been really interesting. I mean walking away from a really high income job to no job <laughs> um, with total confidence is definitely one of those things where you know you're on the right path. So the videos have been really intermittent and I apologize for that. But today I want to talk about um, what I believe the healing process is and I think of it in terms of an onion. Um, so I bring this up to say that when you're looking for healing advice for disease, depression, Lyme disease, cancer, anything that it might be that, you, that you're going through, if you can start to think of it in terms of a layering process of shedding layers of different things that might be spiritual blocks, relationship issues, healing past trauma, healing physically, I mean obviously a part of healing disease and depression even is healing physically, reducing toxins from your life, things like that. But I feel like when I look at some of these websites, some of these blogs, some of these Facebook posts and stuff, people are so desperate for what works, what works, that they they ask for you know for advice from other people and then they take that advice and they do it right away. When I think you should kind of assess the advice based on where you're at in your peeling of the layers in your onion basically. So let me give you an example of this. Like, um, so for me this process has been multi 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 dimensional. A huge part of it is healing just past pain because what you don't realize or what I didn't realize is that you're using food. You're using alcohol. I'm not a big drinker, but I certainly spent some time using alcohol to kind of stuff down some things. You're using shopping to stuff down some things. You're using a lot of life distractors throughout our lives to emotionally shove things down. So disease is largely caused by stress and toxicity and things like that. So a lot of times we don't identify that there are a lot of stressors in our lives, and that's because we've just piled them on for so many years. So if I come to you and say, hey, you should really try a juice fast to, you know, to heal your disease, if you're not at that place, if that's like the fifth layer of your onion and you're still at the outer layer, then that isn't going to work for you, is my belief. Not only is it not going to work, but you're not ready for it. Your strength isn't up yet. Your mental, you know, willpower, your, your I can beat this just isn't there yet because your spirit might be really defeated. So if you haven't worked on your spirit and worked on really helping that piece of it first, then the other pieces of it are a lot less likely to help you. So... For me, let me think of things, gosh, that I tried at first. Like antibiotics, basically. When I tried antibiotics for Lyme disease, that was so far from what I should have been doing at that point because I had major stressors in my life. I was a brand new mom. I was working a job that was unbelievably stressful that I didn't even know how to do. So I was learning how to do it every day at the same time I was performing the job, at the same time I was parenting a baby, at the same time I was sick. So antibiotics just weren't my solution at that point. I wasn't at that level yet where my body would actually just heal from just antibiotics. First, I needed to remove some of the layers of stress. In order to remove some of the layers of stress, I would have needed to change my daily routine, um, change my job, you know, things like that. Like, you really have to start unpacking that stuff. Once you can get a couple other layers, maybe maybe some emotional healing, maybe some spiritual healing, maybe some a little bit of physical healing through diet change. And then, when you're able to introduce antibiotics, you've done all the work to, to where your body will support the introduction of that medicine, and it will help work through. But to just throw antibiotics at a disease, to me, as the first step, it's too deep in the layer of the onion and you haven't first addressed some of the other causes and the other issues. So for me, it's just been a multi-dimensional approach and I always caution my mind when taking advice from others at, in order to say, is that advice that's in line with where I'm at in my healing journey? So another example of this and what actually brought up this topic for me in my life was I was listening to a podcast, and if anybody is interested in which podcast this was, feel free to shoot me a message. I don't know off the top of my head what the woman's name was, but she was talking about overcoming food addiction, which was a big piece of this for me. I never self-identified with being a food addict just because I've, I was a Marine. I've always been really fit, um, but when you remove coffee and sugar and um, God, chocolate from your life, it's really hard. It's definitely, there's chemical properties in the foods we eat <clears throat> that actually make us addicted to these foods. And I, I didn't understand that I was actually addicted to these foods. So I went through several iterations, several iterations 
just want to overemphasize that before I finally got my way through the actual food addiction in order to be able to eat healthy every day. Um, so this woman was talking about food addiction. She was saying, you know, you need to, if you're taking advice from people regarding food addiction, you need to figure out what, what level of an addict they are versus what level of an addict you are. So you might have a guy, for example, I tend to think of guys as less, having less addictive tendencies than women when it comes to food. But so a guy might be a level five on a food addiction scale. So he's like, man, you got to try this. I read this book, did everything it said, worked like a charm, you know, haven't had any issues since. So someone who he's telling that to, if they're a 10 on a scale of one to 10 with their food addiction, it's not going to be a robust enough solution for them. Right? So that's kind of, it starts to defeat your spirit over time. If you jump on board somebody else's advice when their advice isn't in line with where you are. So that's kind of like what came, that, that's what came up for me was that onion analogy to say, you know, really look at where you are before you just post on a random website and ask people, hey, what should I do about this? And then do it. So listen to it and it might be exactly in line with what you need. Maybe try it, but the, it just ends up contributing, I think, to so many failed attempts and that ends up damaging your spirit over time. And failure is a part of the process. It's always always been designed to be a part of our life's process. That's what leads us to the ultimate success. But when you're sick and when you're tired, it really, failure really, really, I feel like it takes you down a few ladder rungs more than it normally would. So maybe that helps you, maybe it doesn't, but it's just something that popped in my head that I really wanted to share. So I have a couple other things I'll be sharing within the next few weeks. One of them is specifically centered around my food addiction journey, which I've kicked now, which is amazing. If I had made this video a month ago, I would have never thought it was even possible for me. Um, so I'm going to talk about that with you, which is super intimate for me because it's it's just embarrassing, I think, to admit like, hey, I'm addicted to food. Like I, I turned into a binge eater once I started juice fasting. So not what I expected to happen, but it happened and I got through it. So I look forward to talking with you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.